Hey you guys, it's Britt. Today we have a huge update with the Brittany Dawn fitness scam. I had some thoughts, so if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so, you know, this to me is karma. This is justice. I hope that the people that were scammed by Brittany Dawn receive their justice in this situation because if there's one thing I can't stand, it's for someone to be scammed out of their money. I talk about so many different avenues of problematic influencers, toxic family vloggers. Um, I love to see people that are done wrong get some justice, get some karma, and boy oh boy this when i saw this i was so happy for the people that were scammed by her so let's read it and then i'll give you guys my thoughts it says the state of texas is suing dallas fort worth social media influencer Brittany Dawn Davis over a fitness plan scheme and claims violated consumer protection laws and misled followers with eating orders who bought into it. You know, to prey on people that are going through mental health issues, physical health issues, emotional issues, you are a piece of trash. That's disgusting. She is... That's the problem is this greed and money hunger that just overtakes any amount of integrity that the influencer might have had beforehand. It's, it, it's the power of money. It's disgusting. It goes on to say, the attorney general's office is seeking between $250,000 and $1 million in penalties and court fees, according to the lawsuit filed February 1st in Dallas County Court. So it was filed six days ago. Davis's business, Brittany Dawn Fitness LLC, sold online fitness packages that cost as much as $300 to thousands of consumers beginning in 2014. The plans were not individualized as promised and Davis failed to provide the promised coaching and check-ins, according to the lawsuit. The Dallas Morning News was unable to reach Davis for comment. Well, of course, she's um, you know, probably doing a Bible camp or um, telling everybody how they need to repent for their sins on TikTok. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm excited to, um, you know, for these people to possibly get a little bit of justice. Like I said, these scamming ass online businesses and influencers have got to go. And if there's an opportunity for them to uh, repay or, you know, if anything, let's be honest, anyone that comes across Brittany Dawn currently is going to Google her name and immediately see that she has been sued. She's a well-known scammer and just an overall terrible person, in my opinion. She's definitely gone from her fitness scams to being a Christian influencer and I'm never here to slam anyone for their faith, but once you monetize your faith and you're telling everyone else how wrong they are, that's where I have a problem with it. And that's something that she does. You know, it's her way of living is just the purest and the most meaningful and is how everyone should be living their life. Do I need Jesus to go to heaven? Bro, you need Jesus to go to Walmart, okay? We, we You need Jesus to just pump gas nowadays it's a hot mess out there it's about to be a hot mess for you ma'am i wanted to see on her comments if anyone has said anything about this someone said scamming your way all the way to hell Ooh. she currently has 461,000 followers on instagram i'm not sure if that number will drop but if i had to guess she will ignore this and will not talk about it publicly until maybe until the very, very end. <clears throat> Once everything is said and done, she might address it, but you know, what is she really going to say? An hour ago, she posted a Bible verse uh, talking more about Jesus and 
yeah, you know, that's, that's just her gig. Here's another article that says Davis, a 30 year old from Fort Worth first started selling thousands of online fitness packages in 2014 after building her social media profile as a supposed healthy living expert through sharing photos of her body, her diet, and exercise tips. She was described as your coach, your confidant, your biggest supporter, and your friend. There to push you, mold you, and help you find that person that you've always wanted to become, reads the lawsuit from the Texas Attorney General. The documents were filed February 1st. She would give feedback like, that's my girl, you're killing it, and you've got this, babe. There's no evidence that Davis has professional fitness training either. The lawsuit doesn't even cover her lack of experience, which is not that unusual in the realm of fitness influencers. Instead, the focus is on Davis's failure to deliver the personalized products she advertised. In February 2019, uh, consumer complaints about the fitness program became widespread that Davis shared a now-deleted apology video on YouTube and took her website down. She appeared on Good Morning America to say she has taken full responsibility for her mistake and did whatever it took to make things right. Well, now you're actually going to have to make things right. There's no more running away from this. And there for a while, she was only offering partial refunds if someone signed an NDA. So that's not doing what's right. That is expecting people to shut up or not receive their money back. They paid for something that you didn't deliver, point blank, period. Fitness and health are no longer my identity. My identity is in Christ, she said in a YouTube video. You guys know that I went into a season of hiding when everything happened. I heard God say, stop trying to hide what I'm using. Over the past two years, Davis's page has been entirely rebranded to share faith-based content. She now runs a ministry called She Lives Freed that offers tickets to self-run uh, weekend religious conferences for $125 per person, not including travel or lodging. And those are, I always call them Bible camps because that's just easier to remember uh, for me, but there are many influencers that do this, and it's not just her, but that's what I'm saying. If <clears throat> if you're strong in your faith, and that's your journey, by all means. But once you start advertising it as the right way to live, or the best way to live, and then you attach a price tag to it, then that tells me that it's probably bullshit, and you're probably just hiding behind the shield of being someone who is a Christian, and those are some of the most annoying people. She posts religious lifestyle advice alongside her husband, Jordan Nelson, former police officer who was sued by the ACLU in 2018 for excessive use of force against a black man. And I talked about that in other videos. Um, both members of the couple faced backlash in October 2021 when Davis tearfully announced that Nelson shot and killed her dog Brody instead of taking him to a vet after he was hit by a car. Davis has also been called out for sharing debunked QAnon talking points and other conspiracies like the debunked Wayfarer uh, child trafficking theory and demonic conspiracies about the 2021 Astroworld tragedy. She's just a mess. So I guess we'll see what happens with this um, lawsuit. I will keep an eye on it and update you guys. Again, keep in mind, I'm not an attorney. I'm just a girl with an opinion, but I will absolutely keep you guys updated. Um, I wanted to check her YouTube. So she has 248,000 subscribers on YouTube and her, um, you know, she talked about the, when she said that the Travis Scott uh, tragedy was demonic, that got 71,000 views, but that's just because people were interested in what kind of crazy conspiracy she probably had about it. Um, aside from that, her videos do not get very good engagement. Her, a big life update, which you would think people would want to tune in. They want to see what's the update. This is exciting. Got 9.5 thousand uh, views, and that's been up for almost four days. Um, 
She did take a break from uploading on YouTube because the Travis Scott video was two months ago and then she didn't upload again until um, about four days ago. So who knows, who knows what will happen with her, but I'm just so happy for the people that were taken advantage of by her and this scam and money hunger greed that she has just, you know, that's part of her existence. So I really hope that things go well for these people. And I also hope that, you know, unfortunately with a lot of these fitness influencers, it is scammy kind of stuff. They're giving promises that they're not intending on following through with, or they overextend themselves and they can't keep up with the promises that they gave. I, I would just say, you know, if you're, <clears throat> if you are seeking to make change to your diet, your health, your overall wellness, just go to someone that is actually qualified, go to a nutritionist, go to a dietitian, talk to your um, uh, you know, primary care doctor, get a personal trainer that is actually qualified to help you get in whatever shape it is that you want to get into. Maybe you just want to increase your cardio so that you feel better when you're going for a jog. Like, it could be something really simple, but just lean on people that are actually qualified to give this advice. Let's leave the fitness influencers, uh, you know, scammy YouTubers, just leave them all behind. There are people that will actually keep their promises to you, I promise. So either way, that's gonna be it for now. If you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon, bye.